What is going on YouTube? It is Mr. Game and Squatch. Welcome to the Squatch Den, and we're also welcoming a special guest. The King of Games 98 here. As always, because he's always welcome on the channel. He's always great on this channel. Well, thank you for having me, and thank you for including me in the video. We always love to. And so, as you can tell from yesterday's video, if you haven't already, hit that little link that's popping up in the corner there, because I'm not going to spoil it for you. It I know great. how you people work. It, it was great, and if you missed it, then you're missing out. Exactly. I know how you people work. You expect me to try and say what it was so that you don't have to go back and check it out. But I want the views! Sorry. <laughs> I know how you people are. Man. But that's not what you're here for, though. Doing good cop, bad cop. <laughs> it's pretty sad when they're both in your own head. <laughs> As you want to uh, probably experience why you're here, uh, and going off of the Pop Funko with nice little Mando and little baby Yoda. Yes, we have the man, the myth, the legend, the child killer himself. Moff Gideon! Did you really just say child killer? Yes, because he actually did kind of want to just use the kid as much as he could until it was, whether it killed him or not. And okay, it's kind of and yeah, it's kind of funny. The yeah, actor, I remember, right. I remember the actor actually saying his kids, uh, who are pretty young, would text him saying, "Please don't hurt the little green boy uh, on the show, Daddy." <laughs> and he would text them back. I'm going to murder him. Oh my god. <laughs> it was funny as hell. That, that. He's like, I'm going to squash his little green face. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, do you not realize it's not pre-recorded? It's, it's a pre-recorded thing. It's not going to happen in real time. Oh my god. That's, but, that's I mean, they're so kids, funny. you know. What do yeah. you, you expect? But, um, yes. Uh, and it's kind of funny because I was in Target one day after I had gotten done work. And I'm like looking around and, of course... They had the god-awful Jar Jar Binks. Is it back? No. <laughs> the same six that had been sitting on that shelf for the past month and a half since they launched them. Uh, and then and they also... on the clearance. Yeah. And then they had uh, Quill. And uh, who was the other guy that helped oh, them Oh, uh, um, Grief Karga? Grief Karga. They had those. And I'm like, at least it's different. But I would rather it be somebody who was like, cool or somebody I would actually kind of no, want but no. then I literally was walking away and halfway down the shelf he was sitting right there next to like Jurassic Park toys and I'm like like you you're coming home with me now, now you see I agree with you in that statement you just made I I don't just freely buy any and all Star Wars figures or black series figures or vintage collection figures for that matter it's got to be somebody i really like exactly that's that's how i feel i feel the same way you know i know you personally you're not a really big luke skywalker fan so you're not going to just buy a luke skywalker figure for the hell of it uh, except for the one that i did that uh the one uh, when they were on, like, what was that? Not Hoth, but... Uh, Endor. Endor. The one with Endor I did just for the sake of the video. Go check that one out, too, because it's already almost up to 200 views, <laughs> even though I absolutely do not give two <laughs> shits about him. Yet it's still highly popular. Go figure. Go ahead and check that out through the link that's popping up right there. Yeah, there you go. Get some promotion. <laughs> um, but um, other than that, yeah. yeah you know, and even then, so, I actually ended up just giving them away, too. I kind of traded them into Nick's, and that was it. So, you know... And now he's still sitting there because nobody yeah. else wants him. <laughs> so, you know, you you and I feel the same way and are the same way in that respect of buying action figures. You know, like... But I figured Moff Gideon no, is freaking Moff Gideon. Especially since I really cool. like the look of that dark saber. Yeah, and I really want to see how detailed I, that is when I get it out of the box. I, I, think the, I, I think the figure itself looks... Exactly like him. Like I, especially the box art is freaking amazing. The box art just looks freaking awesome. I mean, even just looking at his face, you can see the bags under his eyes, his the, mustache, the, and every wrinkle of his face is just perfect the to how to it detail is. Detail again, and like I, I, I'm, I don't want to sound like a broken record. I here. also really like how that cape looks. It doesn't look like yeah. it's a cloth. It looks no, sculpted. No, yeah. Which is pretty good considering that Mando's over there is sculpted, but Kylo Ren's is all cloth. Uh, even though you don't see it here, the one Jawa that you had gotten me as well. Oh, yeah, the uh, uh, off-world. The off-world Jawa has cloth and sculpted. Which is actually from the Mandalorian. 
That is true. I should have had him in the background here, that's but that's okay. That's all right. Nobody really cares. Utini. <laughs> Nobody cares about that. Um, but yes. So as you can see, it's from the Mandalorian line because it's got that light blue line going there. Uh, and yeah, just and from going off the back here. Uh, what? what uh, just not not to interrupt you, but uh, what color would you call that? Would you call that tan or orange? I would consider it like a tangerine kind of like light orange because okay. it's not so much yellow, but it's not so much yeah. dark orange. It's just. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. it's almost it, it's such a hard description, but the Clone Wars and the Mandalorian uh, have the same almost identical color. Well, uh, was it the Mandalorian? Was it well, the Clone Wars or okay, the, the no? It's Clone um, Wars line is yeah. yellow. That I would call yellow. But this is not that far off though. Like no. here, let me get let me get the one off of the and, wall and, and show you guys the difference. I think that's good. You're making a comparison, but I can totally see why you would say that they're okay. similar. Okay. Now that I'm looking at the two of them, it actually looks more brown than orange. Holy crap, yeah, it does. Now it's actually <laughs> looking brown rather than orange. I swear to God, guys, we're not colorblind. <laughs> but I mean, no, just this is this is how mental it is. Like, okay, all right, <laughs> focus on the red for a few seconds, okay? Focus on the red back there. And now I'll take a look at this again. And you're going to see that it's, especially with the light, it's kind of orangish. Yeah. It's kind of orangish. Oh, yeah. Okay. And now you look at this. It's kind of yellowish, orangish, mm -hmm. kind of like a sunburst orange or just a very light yellow. But then you put the two together and this one's almost brown. Yeah. Mind freak. <laughs> Game freak. Well, I was I was going by uh that magician. Oh. Chris Angel. Uh, Mind Freak. Okay. Okay. I was referencing the company. But... I know. You were referencing the company, I was referencing magic. Okay. But it's okay. You're not here to get your mind freaked. No. You get that done every day. I, I, I believe you were in the process of reading the back. <laughs> yes, I'm when sure I, everybody kind I, of I, read I, it. But I kind of did interrupt you. But... That's okay. Yeah, so uh, Imperial Moff Gideon is fiercely determined to capture a specific quarry. Clever and formidable, Gideon values power and knowledge. Very vague. Okay. Could have expanded a little bit more on that, but okay. I agree. But I'm gonna I'm gonna just you know throw this out there. You say what you think. You guys were watching. I'm gonna below. I'm gonna un, I'm gonna start doing the That's unboxing okay. while you talk. So I this is this is just me personally, and I'm just kind of spitballing here. I would love to learn more about this guy and, like, his backstory. Oh, definitely. I would love to see, like, comics or just books or yes. something yes. to, just, just, to just really some, explain some, a little bit some more. Some form of media storytelling. Because all he really did was just pop in, get wrecked by Luke, or by Mando, and yeah. then get captured. Yeah. Even though he he was pretty formidable, especially making the Death Troopers uh, uh -huh. canon as well. Uh -huh. That yeah, was freaking because, great. Uh, uh, fun, fun little fact, since you mentioned the Death Troopers... The aside from being in the Mandalorian, the only other time they were they were seen, uh, as far as I know, was in the movie Rogue One, a Star Wars story. Really? Yes. It's been a while since I've seen that. Uh, as as far so, as I guess my statement of making them canon is actually kind of wrong. Well, yes, but that's okay because if you didn't know that, then. That's okay. I know. I always knew there was different iterations of them. Like yes. one was just these super soldier kind of things, and then the second one was super soldiers in exo suits, mm -hmm. and then the, the third iteration was just these exo suits, which is what they did, or not even exo suits, just droid based, yeah, like they did in the Mandalorian. Yeah. So, so as we can see, we have a back piece here for his cape, which actually. Come to find out, is it, uh, is, it, is it detached? It's detached. It's taped on the. It's taped on the sides here. That's oh. why I'm having to part. But it is actually detachable, that's meaning kind of, you can have that's both. Kind of cool. Yeah, that is I pretty mean, neat. I, I personally think he looks better with the cape. Oh, definitely, because he always did have a cape. Yeah. He always kept the cape on, and so we do that, and that comes right off. And it looks like it just Man, attaches that's a from nice a peg. Cape. Oh, dude, I love the color of that. That is amazing. <laughs> like, I, 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 <laughs> it's pretty solid. <laughs> It's pretty solid as it just flops down on the ground here. I don't I don't mean to like draw all attention to a cape, but it's I a mean, nice looking cape. I think he looks pretty cool without it, but it's also like you always see him with the cape. It's hard I, to have him without the cape. Yeah, okay. I'll tell you what, just 
my personal opinion here. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm, I'm going to say you you can agree, disagree, whatever. Without his cape on, I think he kind of looks like a Sith Inquisitor. He kind of does. You know what? Maybe he yeah. is. Maybe he is a Sith Inquisitor, and we just never really were told that in the thing. He was just, you know. Yeah. It's just, it, I mean, because so, like you said, he really is a Sith Inquisitor. I so, mean, so then, so then, then, then it kind of leaves me begging the question: Is he Force sensitive? Uh, mm, maybe not. I don't know because he would have probably used the Force powers at right. least during his fight with Mando. Yeah. Wow, that looks freaking awesome, that Darksaber. Oh, it really does. Like, let's get a nice close-up look of it. Oh, my God. It doesn't, it doesn't really have any, like, like, it's not like how you get the one from Walmart where it's got, like, the little crackles of light in it to try and look, but it looks pretty good. I was just about to say, does that got a gray color? It's a gray colored oh, edge. Yeah, it's a gray colored edge, oh, just like cool. how it's black with the light around it. Yeah. It's supposed to simulate the light around it. That's cool. That is really cool. I like it. It 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 definitely makes it stand out, if you will, and like. I also like how when he holds it, like you know, I'm trying to get him to. Like, I'm trying to remember how he used to hold it, you know, because mm -hmm. he didn't just he didn't hold it ready like a sword. He always kind of just like had it down to his side. Oh, mm -hmm. look at that! He's got a little weapon holster for his, his pistol as oh, well. That's cool. Uh, yeah. All right, now let's try and get his cape on which just from you what you can tell from the back here is just a little peg and it just sticks in there and it kind of that's this is where I don't really trust Hasbro entirely because like sometimes it works sometimes that doesn't with holding you know things sometimes they don't stay on exactly or in place if, uh, if, if you'd rather say it like that exactly all right uh I gotta say this wow. looks freaking amazing dude I love this yeah, I, I actually really do like this. I mean, I'm not really too keen of his face, I guess. It's kind of just, eh. Mm -hmm. But then again, that's just the actor. You can't you can't down the actor for that. Yeah, no. Uh, so otherwise, yeah, he seems... Of course, I can't really hold my table against him not standing up right now. I know. Um, so, yeah. I mean, he kind of seems like he's leaning forward a little bit here. But, uh... Yeah, I think he looks freaking badass. I think it is a highly detailed and very good looking figure because... Come on, focus. To me, it just looks exactly like the actor and how he's portraying the character on the show. Absolutely, man. This looks oh, do, freaking do you, sick. Do you want his little pistol? Nah. Nah. I, I mean, we'll show it to him. Let's show you. His, I mean, it's it's taped in, so it's taped in, so that's why I'm not really gonna mess with it too much. It's just a simple little, literally just yeah. looks like a regular handgun. It doesn't actually, doesn't really look like anything special. It looks so. like a regular handgun with an ACOG sight <laughs> or a sniper sight. But um, other than that, oh my god, dude, I am actually really liking this figure a lot. I really do like him. Just, I mean, seriously, look at that. That just gives like the that just gives the vibe of I don't give a shit and I'm gonna wreck your shit because I don't give a shit. That is pretty freaking cool. So yeah. And plus the boots look freaking awesome. I love the layering in the pants there to give it more of a loose vibe, you know? Yeah. And you know what? Okay, it's funny, so on on, on my earlier comment that I made about how he looks like a Sith Inquisitor without his cape. With his cape, he still kind of looks like a Sith Inquisitor. He looks more like a Sith Inquisitor with the cape now, actually. Yeah, actually, he does. So I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to redact that statement and instead say that he looks more like one with the cape. Well, I mean, you could say both, actually, because well, he just, yeah, he just looks does. like a Sith Inquisitor in general. Yeah, he does. So like, I also really love the fact that they sculpted it so well to be looking like cloth yeah like it looks like it's so free flowing and perfect and like it's funny that it's just the the the, the cape itself is just one hard piece of plastic and it's not you know like actual fabric i gotta yeah. say it's holding in pretty well as well for like just being a peg yeah. in his back but what i what i was going to say is for the cape to actually be a plastic piece not even like cloth fabric material 
it looks like a real fabric cloth material cape. Exactly. You know, when 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 you look at it. Exactly. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as we did. Oh, uh, well, real, uh, real quick before you end the video, uh, do you want to mention where you got them and how much? I told you I got them at Target. Oh, that's right. Remember I was talking about the thing and all that, but I mean... You did say that. It's, did. He goes, he's the same average price as any other Black Series figure. It's $25. I'll leave a link in the description of the Target, you know, website to get it. There you go. Of course. Because, you know, everybody's fanatical about how much they cost, as if they didn't know by now. Well, He's not a deluxe figure, if that's what you're figuring. Oh, like, no. Whether no, he's no, $40 no. or not. No, no, no. No, he's, he's, he's just the standard $25. And, uh, yeah. So, but, shit, for 25 bucks, Hasbro is lit when it comes to these figures. I, I'm serious. I think it's a really nice looking figure. And I would say if you can find one in your local Target or Scoop it up. another store and it's at retail and you're... You can pay retail pricing. I I would say it's 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 worth having, especially before the freaking scalpers get it. And I just noticed he is considerably shorter than Mando. Wow. And that's like not even like oh you know Mando's up higher. No, he's standing level with him. So it's kind of weird that these figures aren't all the same height. I no. kind of like that though, because it gives them more individuality. Yeah, it's, it's, it's different. Yeah. So. I do, I do like this. I really like this. Make it a little bit awkward, like, the hell are you looking at? What are you looking at? <laughs> Two guys from different backgrounds just trying to make it work. <laughs> Sorry for that very obscure Family Guy reference. Alright, um, yeah, so if you haven't already, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff that every YouTuber begs for at the end of a video, and, uh, Check out Brendan's YouTube channel. I have, I have done uh, a lot of Black Series figure unboxing videos. I think I've done so many that I actually made a whole playlist of just those videos. Exactly. So I should probably do the same too, actually. I would recommend that. Yeah, it's definitely worth it and a lot easier for people to find the videos through a playlist. Yep. So, yeah, if you could check out my channel, I'd really appreciate it. You know, if you like what you see, maybe think about subscribing. Yep, and uh, yeah, check out some of the other videos that are popping up here and... Hopefully you'll find them very entertaining as well. I hope you guys stay safe, stay happy, and I'll see you guys again in the Squatch Den. Take care, guys.